Welcome to your Health and Wellness Hour, sponsored by Luminosity Wellness Center here in Las Vegas. Coming to you from the studios of Worldwide Digital Broadcasting, our goal is to incite and ignite all your senses and curiosities. So sit back, relax, open your mind and your heart, and enjoy the show. Good afternoon. This is Christine Essex with Luminosity Wellness Center, and I'm here with Sadie Denny today. Sadie has written her first book, and so we here at WWDBTV love to spotlight people, right? And so you are our spotlight interview today, Sadie. So thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, how was it? How was it for you writing your first book? Well, it's very exciting because you get to write about everything and it goes through your heart and to your mind. It's great. Wow. Well, I really enjoyed watching you write it, too. And uh, could you give us the name of your... Yeah, it's called You Do You. You Do You. And you know, I love that because You Do You is really kind of what we uh, teach around here, that self-love and self-respect and acceptance are very valuable tools. So that would be kind of like, do you agree? You doing you, yes. right? Learning yes, do. to do these things. Great. Now, what? how old are you? I am eight years old. Eight years old. And um, have you ever been on TV before? No, I have not. This is your first time? Well, I posted to go on TV, but I never got the call. Really? Really. You know, I, as your grand, and this is my granddaughter, I have to tell you. This is my granddaughter. And this is my little mini me. I call her my mini me. She is the, what are you, oldest? I'm the oldest granddaughter. Yeah. And so we spend lots of good quality time together, right? Very. Yeah. And so what, uh, do you have a, want to tell you, the listeners just a little bit about yourself? Um, I have nothing to say. Oh, well, she actually has a lot to say. <laughs> Sadie is the older sister to a little sister named Lucille. And Lucille's how old? Uh, she is 11 months. 11 months? She's almost a year old? <gasps> how time flies when we're working our business, right? So, wow. And um, you have your mother and your father, right? Mm -hmm. And so your mother is related to me? Yes. <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, okay. Is your dad related to me? No. No, okay. Just your mom is? Yep. Okay. Well, and he just gets, he's the bonus, right? He's the bonus son? They yep. call them bonus sons. Okay. Yes. All right. So, um, what is some of your favorite things to do? My favorite things to do is watch TV and be lazy. You know, I kind of doubt that. <laughs> I've never seen you do any either one of those. When? I can't believe this. When do you watch TV and be lazy? At home. Oh, okay. I was going to say, not when you're with the grandma. No. We're I'm always not. busy, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, came to work today. What would you like to share about your book, Sadie? Well, um, it's actually a very good book. It can um, make you ha have a happy day. If you're sad, you can read this and it make you glad and happy. It would make you, um, like if you hate someone, you can love them, forgive oh. them. Very good. Now, you know, I'm always curious how you know these things, because you're only eight. Well, my grandma teaches me a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> High five on that one. <laughs> That's why she's my mini-me. So, um, that, so I know that, that this first thing, uh, You Do You, is a book about loving things and making good choices. Yes, it is. Okay. And so... Um, do you think that that's a good message to send to kids these days? Yes, yes, it is. Okay. How? What? What do you think? How do you think it could maybe help them? Well, there's been a lot of bullying since in my school, so I'm going. i have been telling them to be nicer and stand up for each other, 
And it has been working. Do you think so? Yes. Yeah, what kinds of changes have you seen? Well, a lot of changes. Like, there, one of my friends were being bullied, and their bully stopped. Really? Good for you. Another high five. You know, uh, that's that's remarkable, because that is kind of a, um, a problem, huh? Yes, and, it is. And you know, it's not only uh, with children. It happens with adults as well. Yeah. And we kind of, you know, here we'll go out on the ledge just a little bit. You ready? Right? Because this is, I'm not sure who all will see this video. But, but if you think about it, we're, our president is a little bit of a bully, you know? And so it kind of rolls back down. So we got to start at your level and work our way back up. Were you willing to do that? Did you know when I grow up, I'm going to try to be president? Really? You know what? You there we still have to see the first woman. It could be you. It could be you. And you know what? If that's a goal of yours. You want to you want to what you want to do is start now uh acting and and living a life like a president, okay? Cuz it's important. You don't wait to become president. You develop into a president. All right? So that that means like you are campaigning to make a difference with the bullies and to to change the world a little bit, even through your book, right? So let, can I look again at this? Because I just love this book. And, uh, oh, you changed the staples, too. Good job. So uh, right here, right? You do you, do you means to uh, follow, your, follow your path and do your own thing. You do your own path, and no one can tell you where to go. Correct? Yep. Did I say that right, Sadie? Mm -hmm. Do you want to read the second uh, page over here? Yeah, of course. Well, I have to make more books, so I will tell you one more thing. You can make your own choices wherever you go. Very good. So I think it is a valuable lesson. Is there any other messages to, to the listeners, especially the kids your age and people you might share this video with? Is there another message that you would like to share? Just off the top of your head, or from your heart. Not well. Okay, Sadie's thinking about it, and we love that when Sadie thinks, because she really. You know what I love about Sadie? She she genuinely will think about this and and not just tell you something that she thinks you want to hear. And that's special about Sadie because that takes a person who loves and knows themselves very well. So you can answer whenever you have that thought. I had to do an interview today. Uh, with a, a woman who uh, was creating a marketing platform and it was an hour interview and it was just to and she asked some deep questions today like you know if I could uh, make a difference in the world what would that difference be kind of questions deep think thought provoking some of them I couldn't answer right away I had to do what you're doing and reflect for a moment is there really a special message that I would like to say that might shift the consciousness of those who hear the message and so I, I did I had I have one more thing okay never do checks very good <laughs> we talked about that earlier today didn't we yeah, if you never start, you never have to stop. And that's my theory of life. If you never start, you never have to stop. And so that's what happens sometimes when I was trying to explain to you today was people start, uh, oh, they might start smoking weed, right? And then they think, oh, well, I can escalate that. And they go on to try other things. And then before they know it, they're addicted. That's not a life, is it, that no. you'd want to lead? So good. So to your friends and anyone out there, yeah, just just uh, be true to yourself, right? And and always have that inner voice that says, "Is this really the right thing for me?" Because that can make a difference. Yes, it can. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool to love you, and I I love everything about you. Thank you. So is that your last message? Yes, it is. And when will your next book be coming out? Um, uh, probably tomorrow. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I did, I really did like your, uh, cool sanctuary. Sadie just redid her whole room, and, uh, it's pretty cool hangout. What, what do you think about it? It's great! <laughs> I liked how you gave me the tour. Uh, thank you for coming to the tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for the invite. 
Alrighty then, well we're going to close out today. We're going to thank Sadie, and if you ever want to talk to Sadie or get a message to her, you can do it through Luminosity Wellness Center at gmail.com, and I will pass that message on to Sadie. Signing out now. Bye! Peace.